Hello and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. My name is Jay Sink. I have two confessions to make. Number one, this isn't the first time I tried to uh this isn't the first time I tried to uh, do this episode. Number two, I did have a lot of work to do uh last episode uh this week, which is true, but I also kinda screwed up uh in the base. And let me explain. Okay, I was going to show you the base as it was whenever it screwed up, but I don't think I have that save anymore. So let me just explain to you exactly the cluster F that happened uh, while you guys were away on Wednesday. Uh, so, this is where we started from, okay? And I... Uh, realized... Way too late that I had this much, exactly this much algae. This much algae right here is exactly how much that I had when I started recording the episode. So I was like, hey guys, look, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a carbon skimmer. And we're going to get this carbon out of here. All of a sudden, all this chlorine gas just started chugging up this way. Up into this area and started killing my plants. But I didn't realize it was chlorine gas. I thought that it was just, uh, I thought it was just, uh, I thought it was just, like, temperature or something. I had no idea why. I was, like, looking around, looking around. I was like, what the heck's going on? Once this oxygen diffuser runs out of algae, it will stop producing oxygen. Once the oxygen stops being produced, the chlorine gas that is down here, or the pressure in this room, will start to go down. But the pressure down here will continue to remain the same. And therefore, when all of this oxygen is either used up or moved or whatever, the chlorine that's supposed to be sitting down here starts creeping up here. I also failed to notice the important uh, uh, thing right here that says my colony is consuming more oxygen than it's producing and will run out of air if I do not increase production. I should check my existing oxygen production buildings to ensure they're operating collect correctly. This one's on its last leg. This one's already out. This one's already out. And as you can see, guys, it doesn't f seem like anything's wrong at the moment unless you're looking really, really carefully at your stuff, okay? This clearly says insufficient resources algae, but everything looks fine. It takes a while for this to start affecting, and I'll just I'm just gonna sit here and let it run, and I'll I'll come back whenever shit starts hitting the fan. Okay, this is a really good opportunity to see what's going on here. As you can see, the oxygen has stopped going and the chlorine is now starting to spill up into the upper layers because there's no oxygen to keep it down to where it's, um, where not where it's supposed to be, but where it's sitting at the moment. It's just up here and it's coming up real quick. Uh, it only took a few cycles to do this and eventually these plants will die um, because of the chlorine. And eventually this chlorine is just gonna get everywhere and it's impossible to get rid of because there's no oxygen. Uh, so, there we go. They're starting to die right now, as you can see. Um, so that's the first thing that happened. The second thing that happened is I was building out these liquid reservoirs, and I was gonna try to do, like, five in a row, just like this. Um, like, one, two, three, I was gonna add two more. And what I forgot was that this pipe down here was still connected. And then it started pumping uh, poopy water up into the base and down into the water. So that's the other thing that happened. I wish I kind of had a, a shot of that 
water, how many germs are up here, but it was disgusting. And everybody just started getting really, really sick. So, uh, yeah, we're not going to do that either this time. So we're back here where everything's we're back here where everything's stable and running. Oh, uh, these plants aren't dead yet. So what we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna emergency grab a whole bunch of um, a whole bunch of algae right now. We're gonna uh, we're gonna grab that on emergency priority, and everybody is gonna come over here. It's gonna be a four alarm freaking fire. And we are just going to grab as much algae as we can right now. Might as well just dig all this out, because we need to dig all this out. Uh, and then, we need to really start working on... Uh, we need to really start working on... Oxalization. So right now, four alarm fire, do not... Let the algae run out. That's lesson number one. Do not let the do not let the algae run out. Make sure there's algae at all times, guys. All times. Okay, they're gonna clean that up. I got algae running. Uh, now the next thing I want to do is um, I want to set up oxalization right now. Right now. So. What I'm thinking is, is that we need a ladder to go like this. We are going to dig like this and like this. Then we're going to dig over here. We're going to put a pump here. Like so. We're going to put a pipe like this. And we're going to put our oxalation here. Now, the oxalation that I want, we're going to use igneous rock with the uh, fluffy tiles. And we are going to build a box basically like... Something like this, question mark. Except for not there. And what I'm learning is that you should just put an, uh, a, a door like that. Therefore, pe people won't get stuck in there for now. We can close it up later. Uh, we need to build a one of our handy dandy uh, gas pump. Here, gas filter here, and input output pipe. The input pipe is going to be here. The stinky gas is going here. The nice gas, or the oxygen, or the rest of the gas, rather, is going to be outputted. Uh, somewhere around here. So, basically what's going to happen is, uh, let's let them do that. Basically what's going to happen is, we're going to have the oxalizer sit like somewhere here. And we actually have to research that. So, <laughs> so I'm sitting here running out of freaking uh, algae, and I don't even have the oxygen uh, thing, the electrolyzer. Yes, not don't even have it researched yet. So we're doing good. We're doing really good, guys. But we're gonna get that set up. Um, we're gonna get that set up. Okay. The next thing is 
is all of the chlorine that I had pumped in here is getting, um, it is literally getting pushed out by the oxygen that's sitting in here. Uh, there was something in here that was producing polluted oxygen. Now, I'm not sure if it's this thing produ producing the polluted oxygen, but it just completely pushed out all of the chlorine that I had in here. So we're going to make an airlock here to ensure that the chlorine stays where it's supposed to be. And then we're going to have to start digging. We're going to have to start digging this out a little bit more. Because what we need now is we need some room for... I want one, two, three, four, five pumps. And then I also want some uh, uh, ventilation to get all the oxygen out of here. And then we need to refill this area with chlorine. All right, so meanwhile, I did get, uh, we researched the, au the oxalizer. So we're gonna, um, I'm not sure how many I want, but I'm gonna build two of them for now. Uh, I don't know if I'll hook both of them, both of them up and see, we gotta see how many of these we really want. Now let's take a look at the oxalizer, at the electrolyzer and do what you guys tell me to do and read stuff. So the requirements of this thing is it gets uh, uh, water and power uh, it needs a liquid intake pipe, and it, the effects are that it outshoots hydrogen gas. So, why are you starving, Mr. Squeaky? You should not be starving. We have plenty of food. Plenty of food. I do not understand. 120, yeah, 122,000 calories. I'm not sure. Anyway, the other problem we're having right now is that we are pushing way too much wattage with this, uh, with these tiny little wires. So we're going to have to go upgrade to heavy wire, I think, and I'm hoping that if I just do this, we're just going to do like one row of it just to test it and see if that works, if, uh, if they will destroy the little wire and put the big wire in its place. Actually, let's, um, let's just do, like, one to test it. We'll put it right here, and we'll see what happens to this tile, uh, and see if it actually just gets replaced. Because if it just gets replaced, then I'm just going to start replacing some of these main wires that run up and down the base, and we'll see what happens with that. Okay, meanwhile, this is done. Uh, what I want to start doing is we need five of these babies. We need five of these babies. And we, first of all, first of all, we're going to do some safety. And we're going to de deconstruct this pipe first. I'm not going to do anything until that pipe's deconstructed. Because otherwise, while I'm messing with this, this whole thing will get screwed up. And it will take the... It will take the polluted water and put it up into my tank, and I don't want that. That's one of the huge mistakes I made last time, is I had polluted water just completely screwing this water up. But we do need to get this uh, water pumped. Okay. Okay, with that safely disconnected, now we can safely start to uh, set this up. What we want is we want five of these in line like this. One, two, three, four, five. And I don't want this one here because I want this one to drain out and go into the other th four or five now, for now. But we're just gonna keep doing this. That's three, this is four, that's five. Uh, we are going to do pl plumbing, 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 plumbing. Okay, cool. So this is just going to go like this. Is that right? That's not right. Wait, up. In, in here. No, that's not right. That's not right. Plumbing. Like this. Okay, so it's... Okay. So it's from here. You gotta go like this, and then this. And then like this. And like this. And then like this. And then like this and then one two three four five the output pipe 
is going to go like... It's not connected, it's not connected, so it's fine. It's going to go like this. And we are going to deconstruct... No, that's incorrect. Uh, uh, plumbing. Pipes. Okay. This one has to, gonna have to come two down. It's gonna have to come two down, just like this. Uh, and then we'll deconstruct that pipe. We'll have to dig out two tiles like this. Uh, yeah. Something like this. Uh, might have to just deconstruct the tile. Yeah, deconstruct. Not that tile, but these tiles right here. Uh, cool. So that'll work. And then we just have to make sure that these are actually full 100%. And there's a little trick for that. I am not interested in any more dupes right now. I kind of just want some food. So we're just going to print some spicy to tofu. So they can uh, eat and be happy and be merry. Uh, while they work. And they can also whistle if they want. Uh, they can totally whistle if they want. You can hear Mike. Did you hear him whistling? I heard him whistling. A little bit more emergency algae digging here. Uh, just, just to get enough algae to keep us going until this gets set up. Uh, it's going slow. It's going pretty slow. Maybe I should just put this on emergency priority right now. Yeah. Let's do it like this. Get this done. I feel like I should always have things on emergency priority because whenever I do that, they really, they really get motivated to do stuff. Whenever they do that, oh, I need a ladder. Oops. And then two zero. Yeah. And maybe that was more algae that just got got dug out here. Get this done. That was pretty, uh, that was pretty, uh, that was pretty impressive how fast they got that done. So whenever they want to get stuff done, they really do, uh, start to get it done. Which is nice. Alright, Massive Dynamic is now uh, putting up the last, the very last, uh, thingamabobber. Now... Uh, let's see what's going on with gas. Okay, oxygen coming out this way, that's correct. The nitrogen is coming out this way, and it's going up. And I think what I want to do is I just want to output that for now up here and we'll just already zero this that done real quick so that happens and we should be getting oxygen coming in and the gas the stinky gas should be going up here like that so only not the only thing that can come in here now if we lock this we're gonna lock this door now the only thing let's see the gas oh shoot what you have got to be kidding me oh my gosh uh, open the, or auto the door. It didn't connect. And no one's going to do it. Ventilation gas. Uh, oh, this isn't set. I need to set this to 
hydrogen. Correct? Ventilation gases. Okay, now it's working. Now, okay, we got a little bit of hydrogen down here, but that's okay. That is okay. Because right now, oxygen is coming out of here. And hydrogen is leaving this way. The question is, what the heck do I do with hydrogen? That's a good question. Because I'm going to need to figure that out fairly quickly. Because, my, as you can see, my algae is just doing really, really bad right now. So, really, this electrolyzer... These two electrolyzers are now the only thing that's uh, keeping this whole base running. And I didn't look up at all or didn't think about uh, anything about the optimal situation with like how big this room has to be. Two uh, electrolyzers working. Uh, it, it might have to be bigger because of the pressure. As you can see, it's kind of like not running or like one pump is like almost not keeping up with two electrolyzers but this is the only way I can think of to purify the oxygen that comes down here and out um, so I guess that's okay for now question mark not sure Alright, I'm going to go ahead and green light this build now. Uh, need to do a couple things. Mop off all this crap. Like this. Uh, we need to move this guy in here. And then... Well, first of all, we're probably going to end up... Alright. Let me think about this for a second. Okay, in the meantime, I did make a safety save. Because we are about... We're just about to run out of, uh... Out of algae. I just saw our algae drip. I'm just going to let it be zero. I have a save set up for this. To see what's going to happen. I don't know if this is going to be enough oxygen to replace all the algae that we uh, we just lost uh, but we're gonna see we're just gonna kinda monitor the oxygen and see what happens and see if uh, this is enough oxygen to keep us going uh, not really sure where I was supposed to output or exactly if like one central location output for oxygen is good or if I have to uh, I'll put it in several locations. I have no idea. Meanwhile, this is getting done. Uh, we're we're gonna uh, let this one run out and run into these ones. This is what it looks like for now. Uh, that should. work. Not sure... Oh, that's because there's no tile. Once these tiles start to come in, then we're... that's when, um... That is when... Yeah, that's when it's gonna start to... Uh, start to filter, yeah, start to filter through all of that. Then what, what we want to do is we want to get... After we get this one done, we're gonna deconstruct this and move it over. And then, and then we're gonna uh, hook it back up to the dirty water and let the, all that sit in there for now. Uh, and then we're gonna need to pump some fresh chlorine gas back into that chamber. And then, uh, yeah, keep that on auto, please. Yeah, and then we need to sweep all the water out get this place cleaned up so that we can uh, start just really kinda just making thing, making my life a lot easier because if I just had one tank to two tanks and did all that what would happen is um, 
I don't know. It would just be too much. Too much for me to do. So if we do five tanks and make sure they're all 100% full at all times, I'm being told that if they're all 100% full at all times, when, by the time it water gets down to the fifth tank, uh, it will be clean and then it will be ready to be dumped back in to here. Because as you can see, we're already out of water. And I keep having to move this this boy down. Uh, so we really need to get on this. Another thing that's happening is our dust caps just ran out of slime. So that's another yet another thing that I have to keep track of is the slime um, levels because we're gonna have to keep grabbing slime. I have no idea if you can make slime or not, but slime is out and it's affecting our dust caps. So we have to make sure to keep the slime levels uh, up. So I got another thing of slime. We're almost out of slime. That's not good. Uh, hydrogen seems to be very much going north. We also have a net. We found a natural, a natural gas geyser here that we could utilize. Um, but I don't think we can utilize that yet. Um, seems like the oxygen is doing okay, even though we don't have any algae, which is nice. Um, we're trying to dig this out, but it's a little bit difficult. I'm also just trying to force, uh, force some, uh, what do you call it, um, chlorine gas into here. Uh, I was trying to see if I could just get enough chlorine gas in here to start killing these germs. Uh, and the germs are going up and down. Sometimes it's going up, sometimes it's going down. That's not good. I think it's every time like every time the dupes uh, come in here and uh, now we got chlorine gas up here. Okay, I see what's going on. I was trying to make more room for chlorine gas. Uh, because we just have a mess in here. Uh, absolutely have a mess. And what I want to do... Like, I would like to mop this. Get the heck, get the heck this stuff out of here. Um... Put the polluted water down here. And get this starting to kill the germs in here. Uh, it's still not killing the germs. We're trying to we're trying to pump chlorine gas into this by taking it from here and putting it over here. And I think what's going on is carbon dioxide is sort of hanging out at the bottom. So, uh, it's not exactly doing... I'm trying to make space for another filter. Um, it's just like I'm going nuts with these filters. Trying to uh, get the correct gas in the correct places. And I think maybe I'm just going a little bit too overboard with it. Because, like, although it does work, it seems like it's just a hassle set up and what we want is anything no that's not what we want that's not what we want cancel what we want is all gas is coming to the, the gas pump what gets filtered out is What gets filtered out is the chlorine, and that gets dumped back out. The rest of the gases get piped outside. I 
think that's what we want to do. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, a uh, it's going to be a, it's going to be, it's going to be fun trying to figure this out. Let's say that. Trying to get this stuff done. I just wanted to make some room for for that up here, so that's why I got this stuff digging out. But then what happened was I made enough room for it, and then all the chlorine that was actually in there started to get uh, not in here anymore. You know what I mean? So, so now they're gonna get this stinky water out of here, and I want them to take that stinky water and put it into here, back into here, where it's supposed to be. So, like we got, the problem is all this, yeah, all this stuff is off-putting gas, and it's taking forever for this stuff to get swept out of here. Um, unless I go through and like say, sweepy water, sweep it, uh, polluted water, Sweep. Polluted water. <laughs> Yo, this is just uh, kind of crazy. Polluted water sweep. Polluted water sweep. Polluted water sweep. Polluted water. Uh, sweep. And... Sweep. And... Sweep. And then take this pitcher pump, is polluted water, and sweep only. So hopefully they'll come in here and get rid of that contaminating my chlorine room here, which is not what we want. Uh, and we need to put this pitcher pump on like nine. There we go. And we also need wire to come over here and okay, hook that up. So let's see how this works. There's chlorine gas in here and I kind of thought that okay let's let's disable this building I don't know if I can do that from here because I have this room sort of sealed off but let's uh let's deconstruct this we'll get this building disabled we got a lot of chlorine here we just need to pump it out now all right so that's done okay that's cool uh we want to Seal this back up like that, and then all we want to do is pump everything but chlorine out of here, and I think this will be okay. 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 Stop. 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 This chlorine, I believe. Is that how that was supposed to work? Yes. Chlorine goes out. Gas vents over pressure. Oh my gosh. Uh, let's see here. Do we have a different kind of gas thing? I thought we had like a over pressure, high pressure gas vent. Release gas from gas pipes into high pressure locations. Uh, missing resources needs plastic. Okay, we can't use that yet. Um, okay, so how to make this work is we need to make more room in this room, and we can easily do that by, uh, picking up the first set of 
this. And we might as well just build another one here and get that all done. And then we will grab the pipe, put it through here, hook. How did I do this? Uh, okay, this is built wrong. This is built wrong. This should be... Oh, God. Um. Okay, wait. Just cancel that. Just cancel that for now. Let's... Just ignore that for a second. We'll do this. Cancel this. Cancel that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to pump the water out of here. That'll lower the pressure in this room, and then this guy can work to get this chlorine, or the uh, excess gases out of here. And then we'll start cleansing this water, question mark. Question mark. Right now, water or germs are going... up <laughs> the germs are going up only if I could just take these reservoirs and move them up right only if I could do that at this point but we kind of screwed that up already so everything else seems to be doing okay except for that water up there is kind of coming down not good yeah this is all just polluted oxygen now, as you can see Okay, so watch this magic. What's going to happen is this water is going to... This water is going to start to come down as these things fill up. Uh, and then this... Yep. Now the pressure in here, as this water comes down, is going to cause... Yep, this thing to start running because there's less water in here. That's kind of the, that was kind of the plan anyway. Uh, that plan is maybe not running because of numbers. <laughs> because of numbers. Uh, hold on one sec. I'll be right back, guys. Alright, what we're going to do for now is we're just going to, um... We're going to connect these two rooms because this room now no longer has any actual chlorine in it. And this room is too overpressured. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to open this room up. And that way we can, uh, for, for temporary, and that way we can uh, start to let some of this gas out. And over here, that way this will start to actually get chlorine in it. Uh, and then we'll keep this door open for now, as we get it done. Yeah, this one's going to be open. And then once that gets in here, these two rooms, all the pressure should go whoop over here. And then um, we have this disconnected. Yeah, okay. So now, this should not be overpressured. And then this should start working. Uh, and this is ending door state change. Not open quite yet. Not open quite yet. It's going to be open soon. So hopefully that is going to work. Meanwhile, this is working. That's working. Uh, and once we get all this... Yeah, then we're going to have to make that valve thing. Make this work. And then... Uh, this might just overflow into here. If we don't take care of that. Yeah, this recycling has to work or this will just overflow. We kind of got lucky before because it was dormant. 
Uh, but now, there we go, now it's open. Aha! Okay, now gas is blowing out. Let's just make sure everything's working as intended. Uh, yeah. It is only outputting the chlorine. All the other gas is coming out. Okay. So then this. All right, we'll have to check this out later. Carbon dioxide. I wonder if I just open this up for a second. It'll just kind of pour out of the side. Or will I just let more gas in? Oh my gosh, I don't know. Like, is this thing... Oh man. Is it just... grabbing the chlorine and throwing it back outside? Or is it actually output? I guess I could see if it's outputting the other gas because... I can see that it's definitely outputting other gas. It's definitely doing that. Uh, we're gonna have to kind of check on that later and see if that works. This is working. Because this is so over pressure. Oh gosh. <laughs> this is not as easy as you think it is. This is not. This this is working. This is working. Um This is not working. One does not simply pump chlorine gas into a room. Gotta think, gotta think, gotta think, gotta think. Probably should have put this pump like down here. Okay, let's try that. We're going to deconstruct this one. And then we're going to, um... We're going to do... Oh, wait. Uh, that's not going to work. Okay, I got a better idea. Let's, let's deconstruct all of this and all of this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the gas and we're going to go up here with it over. around and down like that and cancel the deconstruction of those and then deconstruct this one let's see if that works oh my gosh alright we're gonna see if that works and we're gonna come back to that Okay, I think this is working way better. We're trying to get the carbon dioxide out of here. And we're only outputting whatever little... Um, chlorine... Comes back in. And the problem is that overpressure, but sometimes it's working. Uh, we're gonna have to see about the... We're gonna have to see about the germs. Oh, it looks like the germs are coming down. The germs are coming down. This is good. This is very good. Man, we really need to get this cycle working.
Yeah, germs are coming down. Yes, okay, now we're purifying water. Uh, and then, we just need... All we need to do is hook up this little pipe right here, that's it. We're trying to get this sweeped out. So that... There isn't any contaminated air in this pocket as well. But the germs are coming down out of here, this is good. And so now all we need to do is make sure that these are always full. And to do that we need to do a special kind of pipe here that has to do with uh, two bridges next to each other and I have to look up how to do that. Okay, so the other thing we need to do is I need to get one of these power transformers and make sure the rest of this isn't drawing too much power. So... Do I really need this airlock now? I'm not sure. I'm not really sure how to make a power spine without sort of destroying like sort of your home zone because my power generation is sort of out of my home zone. It's kind of in the stinky air. Maybe... Oh man, do we really need... I don't know. Do we even need this airlock? I'm not really sure, but I'd like to get this, uh, the heavy wire over here to this and hook it up with this thing because apparently this thing ensures that the input is over here the output is like that so it's pretty easy to hook up uh, and then we just uh, destroy that one it would be nice to have the heavy watt wire you know what actually if we put it over here um, does it have to be on a tile? We put it over here. Put it somewhere here, somewhere over here, somewhere. I would. I wonder if that needs a tile. It does need a tile. It does need a tile. Kind of running out of room here. Put it over here. Let's do that. Let's let's not do this. Uh, let's deconstruct that. Move it over here. Put it on a tile. Like that. And then we're going to run the heavy watt wire over here. Um, it's going to have to go under this and go up to here. And then the, the light wire is going to go up here, hook into that, and then hook into that, and then this all gets deconstructed like that. Because <clears throat> what this does, it... Um, it ensures that the rest of this base up here doesn't draw more than a thousand well, amps or watts or something like that. Let's see what it says. I don't know what they measure electricity in here. Yeah, drawing more than a thousand watts. So I think that's how you that's how you work that. I'm not really sure, but we're gonna try it. Okay. All of this is good. Okay, so let's look at like the plumbing situation that we have here. And okay, so the input is here. So that means we have room. Do some shenanigans right here with bridges. Now I was told 
that if you do this, and you do this, and then you input here, connect those two, and then connect these two, that'll ensure that all of those, all of this, that'll ensure that all of this is filled up all the time, is what some drunk Irish person on YouTube said. So, uh, we're going to try that and see if that works. I think that's how you build that. I'm not sure. Oh, no. Power out. Oh, that's, that's, that's okay. Power is out because we're still doing this. That's fine. That is fine. Uh, power is going to be out for a little bit. That is actually not fine. Because the electrolyzer is offline now. So we need to... We need to do this stuff pronto, please. Like, get that done, like, right now. Because the power is out. That's not good. I'm like, that's cool, but it's not cool because the oxygen is off as offline if the power is out. So that's not good. Oh boy. Here we go. Alright, they're gonna get that done. Man, they can really do stuff if you motivate them. Power's online again. That is perfectly fine. Let's check the power situation. The wire situation. Um, uh, yes, no, bad, yes, bad. I have no idea if this is bad or not. I have no idea. I know red is bad. Red is bad. Red seems to be bad. Everything is red. Okay, you guys are going to have to, uh... I would really like some comments about power, because I have no... Oh, a power loop is detected. A power loop is detected. That is very strange. Alright, let's see what's going on here. Oh, yeah, that. that. No. Construct. Power. Wire. That. There we go. Ah, that's better. Uh, and then we got top priorities going on where they're not supposed to be. Alright, so let's check the power now. Yellow. Yellow throughout the base. Sometimes red. Okay. Does that mean I need to put like a transformer down here as well, I wonder? Let's put a transformer... ...here. We'll put some uh, tile uh, here, and then we'll do some power, like, oh, can we rotate this? Yes. Okay. Cancel that. Uh, this. Rotate it so the input is on this side, and the output is like that, and then deconstruct 
that. And then turn this. I guess I could stay. Stay like that. Okay, so there you go. Hopefully that'll solve our power issues. Uh, water is a problem. Okay. What is... what we got? Okay. We're almost done with this episode, but I want to do one more thing. I want to finish this up and see, and save it real quick, to see if we can get water up in this tank. And that'll be the last thing we do today, is if I can get water up in this tank without putting germs in it, that would be a victory. So we're going to see if we can do that before time runs out. Alright, the moment of truth. The moment of truth is upon us. I have, I have made a safety save. So it's not going to be an uh, end of the world if this doesn't work, but I'm going to check the plumbing here, and we're going to watch, we're going to watch uh, this water. Wow. I cannot buttons today. We're going to watch this water come up, over this bridge, come out. Uh, let's see how we're doing. Oh, man. Still germs in that last tank. Uh, this is going to be bad. This is going to be bad. Germs have arrived. Okay, I'm going to try again. I think... Okay. Hold on. Okay, so my plan is to... Let's let this run out a little bit. Until we see... We're gonna let it... We're gonna let it drain a bit. We're gonna let it drain just a little bit. Uh, definitely has germs in it. Because I believe what it's going on is there's a little bit left over in the pipe. That has germs in it. So we're going to bleed the line until the germs go away from all the tanks. Okay, now that the germs are gone, sort of gone, they're getting there. It's going to take a while for this bleed out. Or maybe this isn't working. Uh, there's a good way to test, though. To see what's going on. Uh, but it seems like this is just not not working like it should be. Now all the germs in here are like... Well, by the time it gets to the last one, there is... Less germs, for sure. But it's still not... It's still not working. It's still not working. Like... Still not working. I thought that maybe this would work. But it does not work. So let's deconstruct. Mm. Those two pipes. And cut the flow of water. Also, deconstruct this pipe. Why? Oh my gosh, so now there's water back in here again. Oh my gosh. 
Oh my gosh. See how each successive one is like less and less germs? But now I think somehow we're getting poopy water back in here again, and I don't know how that happened. I honestly don't know why that happened. I feel like we should probably move this airlock over one. I don't know if this is working or not. Maybe water is getting in from the uh, steam geyser. I am not sure. We gotta um, enable the building again. deconstruct this airlock and now maybe it'll keep everything in here instead of how it was before I'll we'll have to have one more ladder here is this now Not destroying germs. Germs steady. Oh, right. Does that work? Man, I am spending so much time on this germ thing. Okay, so there's been a little breakthrough. Uh, the breakthrough is, is that I want to do this output pipe to uh, just see if there was germs. And since I cleaned out the system, there seems to be not a lot of germs in there right now. So what I want to do is I want to quickly kill this. Yeah. There is only some germs in here, but now there is none. So now, what I want to do is I want to uh, re. Yeah, we want to go like this. I know this is this is all spaghetti. This horrible pipe spaghetti. But this is the last attempt for today on attempting to figure out how to do this properly. Um, we're going to try that. I kind of bled out the system. So basically what happened was none of these, none of these are now showing germs. Uh, well, there's 10 germs in that, but they're dying. Very low, very low, no germs, no germs. Okay, so we're gonna build this pipe here. And see if this works. One more pipe. Okay, stop. Let's check. Just polluted water, polluted water, polluted water, polluted water, polluted water. No germs. No germs coming out of the last one. Uh, we got, we got the sieve is about to come through. Yep. 
Yep. Uh, germs and the sieve. Dang, Nabbit! Oh my gosh, I don't understand. Okay, I do not understand. I do not understand what's going on. Like, this whole germ thing is, is, uh, is it making me not sad. It's making me very sad. I have no idea how to get these germs out of here. Out of the water. It's really, really finicky. Because it doesn't say there's any germs, but then all of a sudden, there's germs in here all of a sudden. Like, and then now, now look, now look at the water. Now look at the water. Liquid. Okay, it's not saying there's any actual germs in the liquid. Uh. It's not saying there's germs in the liquid. Even though there's totally germs here. Hmm. I have no idea. Oh, unless we're looking at uh, the liquid outside the sieve, not inside the sieve. We could be looking at germs sitting on the outside of this thing, and not the inside of it. Uh, disinfect that. I think maybe we did it. Plumbing pipes going on here. Definitely just coming out. Coming out of there. Going through there, getting cleaned up. Coming down here. No germs in the water. Getting pumped out. Okay, so my new process is um, my new process, if this works, my new process is going to be fill up all these tanks, cut this, then before we, we kind of have to run the tap a little bit. We kind of have to run the tap here and 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 just drain the water back out to here until we see that there is no germs in the whole system then cut it and then route it back up here it's it's a little bit better of a solution than what we had before because what we had before was this can this can hold a lot more water here in these tanks than what I was doing before and so I would have to do this process less, but it's still really annoying. Um, I would really like to figure out how to automate that. And for that we need plastic, and to get plastic we need exosuits, and then now we're back at the beginning of where we were before. Whoop. Oh jeez. Hydrogen in the base. Uh, at the beginning where we were before with the... Uh, getting what needing to get the exosuit so we can get to oil and plastic and all that stuff um but otherwise uh did we actually solve anything this time mm, no 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 we didn't i'm gonna have to look up what to do with hot uh, nitrogen gas um 
because definitely this chimney idea is, or hydrogen, I'm sorry, hydrogen. Uh, this chimney idea is okay, but we have a problem with the hydrogen now, like an opposite problem with the carbon dioxide. So now we have a carbon dioxide problem on the bottom and a nitrogen or hydrogen problem on top. So lots of lots of things to do for sure and a lot more. I think we have a lot more questions now than we have answers. And I think the biggest thing that we did this time was solve we temporarily solved the water problem again, which we which we solved before but now we have a better solution with it and we also solved the power some of the power problems we were having. So that's just interesting and we still need to get some of this carbon da or uh, I'm sorry chlorine gas still need to get that uh, solved and we still need to do the same thing we did down here up here oh man maybe a good solution for this is to just not even do this anymore because What's going on down here is probably not a lot of germs now because we're actually not putting germs into it anymore because we don't need this bottle opener anymore. Let's deconstruct it. And that way this whole situation over here will be a mute point because we won't be pulling polluted water out of here anymore. We'll be, point, we'll be doing polluted water out of here. Uh, we'll just have to clear the germs out of it, and we'll be okay. Okay, guys, until next time, this is Jay saying episode 16 is done. Uh, I'm a lot happier with it than I was before, although we caused more problems than we, than we, than we solved. But that's okay. Guys, have a great day. I know this one was a little long, but have a nice day, and I'll talk to you guys later.